In this video I will show you how to clean the Dyson V7. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's the motorhead, the animal, the fluffy or any other variant of V7. Uh, it is fairly standard design. So let's get going. So first of all the, the tools on these are relatively easy to clean. Um, I won't bother too much with these and the brushes because on the whole they are fairly easy and simple to clean on their own. Now for the main drive head to clean this, first of all get quite a large flat headed screwdriver and just put it in the side and if you twist it then that pulls out remove any debris and you can take off all the fluff and hair from this uh, just make sure it's clean inside and the next step would be the bottom part there so again use a large screwdriver just be careful because you can damage these quite easily. If you turn it till it clicks, then that can remove. So just really using a damp cloth, just wipe it along there. And again on the inside there. Once you've done that, then you can put it all back together. Now for the vacuum itself, first of all, empty the bin, and as you should know, on the Dyson V7, if you pull that, then all of the dirt will come out. Now, first of all, we'll remove this dirt, so we've got a clean area to work with. Right, now we've done that, we just need to remove this top part, and to do that, You've got some red buttons here, so if you press that, and then that will remove it. It's easy. And you remove the bin as well. So that's at the bottom. You've got a red clip under there. Just pull that, and then the bin will take up. And just recommend rinse it under warm water. Uh, let it dry, ideally overnight, before you put it back together. Just make sure when you are cleaning it, don't get these contacts wet. Now the next part is the actual motor unit. First of all, uh, just check in here, and if you just get a brush, and just brush around, just see if there's any dirt or residue in here. Now, so it's when you've got this apart, that you can actually take the battery out. And depending on how old your vacuum is, will depend on the suction and the performance you get in, and this might be at the stage where you want to change the battery. And to do that, you've got two screws here. They are just normal screws, and you've got one around the back here. So I'll just show you how to take it apart, because it only takes a moment. Once you've done that, then it just pulls apart. So you should be able to get a spare battery from any reputable retailer. Um, and then once you've either got a new one, or if you just want to put this back in, it just literally slots back in like that. And then you just put the screws back in where you took them out of. So with the next step, with cleaning the Dyson, you've got the filter in the top here. If you just pull that out, if you have a look, this is designed to be washable. So again, just rinse it under warm water, but you have to make sure it is completely dry before you put it in. So ideally leave it overnight. So for the next part, you can find that if you want to give it a quick clean, you can just brush around here. Uh, but really we want to get in here because inside there's a lot of dirt that does accumulate. And to do that, we, first of all we need to undo these four screws and it is using a T10 Torex screwdriver so 
So if we just undo those four. Once you've done that, then that just pulls over that rubber lip. Can be a bit stiff. That's it. So just put that to the side. And what we need to do now is to remove this outer shroud. And to do this, if you get a flat headed screwdriver, and you do need to be careful because there are some clips under here. But to do that, you just push that in, and then up like that, and then if you work your way around, like that, so all the way around till it's loosened, and then you can pull that off. And as you can see, it's quite dusty. So what we want to do is just really get a brush and just get rid of all the residue. Should have moved that first, really. Get a damp cloth. I wouldn't recommend washing this. Just go around the rubber seals as well. Just make sure they're nice and clean. Now the next stage once you've done that is to get into this part. And for this again you need a Torx screwdriver but it's a T8 this time so slightly smaller. can find that if there's a lot of dirt within the screws then you might need to try and get that out first. Okay and on the inside here, so once you've got those screws out then as you can see it does get very dirty inside. So just give it a brush. Again don't run it under warm water. A, a damp cloth and the other two parts you really want, want to get clean are inside there so as you can see it's really dirty so if you get a, again a brush I suppose this part because it is only plastic then you can rinse it under water if you want to again let it dry properly before you put it back, back together and once you've done that, then you've just got this outer shroud. Give that a, a good brush. And once you've done that, if you have washed any part, just make sure they're completely dry. We'll clear this up and then we'll start putting it back together. Okay, so the first thing to do once you've got it all clean, is to put this back together. Now if you notice that's got a slight bulge on it, so that locates over there. And then once you've placed that on there, then you put the five screws back in as you took them out. So the next stage is to locate this back on, and basically you just place it over there. And if you notice where that lug is at the front, and then just push it back, and it should clip back into place, so it's tight all the way around. And then after that, you want to get the handle and put that back on. You do have to push it over the rubber there, 
and then you just put the four screws back in. And then once you've got the four screws back in there, now we can start putting the cleaner back together. So the next thing to do is to put the bin back together. If you locate those actually into the cleaner itself, so if you do that and then it will you'll hear a clip. And then this just slots back in there. Like that. Gently ease that in. Shut the bin. That's the filter that we washed earlier. Again, just make sure that's really dry, ideally overnight before you put it back in. And then drop that back in. That's the video on how to clean the Dyson V7. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video. Leave any comments below. Thank you.